The MyLifeCam APS FX algorithm uses a mathematical model of glucose regulation to decide on the amount of insulin to be delivered. This mathematical model predicts glucose levels up to four hours ahead. The prediction is influenced by what happened in the past, including past glucose levels, as well as recent insulin delivery and meals or snacks that have been eaten. MyLifeCam APS FX is always aware of 1. How much insulin is currently active, also known as insulin on board. 2. What the glucose levels have been. And 3. When last someone consumed carbohydrates, also known as carbohydrate on board. This information, together with the individualized learning about the person with type 1 diabetes, is used to shape the insulin delivery for the next few hours. Inside MyLifeCam APS FX's mathematical model that drives automated insulin delivery, there are a number of different submodels. Each one of these submodels has a number of parameters which are continually fine tuned based on the algorithm's learning. And submodel are ranked according to how well they fit the observed glucose levels. Each submodel includes a number of parameters a personalized insulin time to peak or insulin action time, markers of insulin sensitivity or correction factor, the rate of carbohydrate appearance from the gut, which estimates the insulin requirements for carbohydrates on board, and a few other factors. Each submodel's parameters differ slightly from one another. In order to calculate the amount of insulin to be delivered, CAM APS FX combines the past information, what has already happened, with a future prediction, what is expected to happen. To come up with the best calculation possible, the algorithm will test different insulin delivery scenarios by combining predictions of submodels according to their ranking and will select the calculation which is most likely to achieve the desired personal glucose target in the next few hours. This whole process is repeated every 8 to 12 minutes while in auto mode. Each time, a different calculation might be used depending on the previous prediction, the glucose trends, and the algorithm's learning. And finally, there is one more important component, which has a final say on the CAM APS FX's insulin delivery, a safety layer. The safety layer uses a number of rules to reduce the risk of very high or very low glucose levels. These rules govern the maximum amount of insulin that can be delivered. They are based on the individual's total daily insulin dose, on how much insulin has recently been delivered, insulin on board, and the recent level of hypoglycemia. In order to reduce the risk of infusion set occlusion, insulin deficiency and ketosis, the CAM APS FX is also designed for safety reasons to deliver a minimum insulin amount over a certain period of time. So, in summary, the MyLife CAM APS FX algorithm involves a complex number of calculations that make up its mathematical model. The model makes a prediction and, following the delivery of that insulin, reviews the accuracy of that prediction. This adaptation is repeated every 8 to 12 minutes. The algorithm also has an inbuilt safety layer to reduce the risk of insulin over or under delivery.